This is ABC 7 News at noon. Your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Hello and welcome. I'm Jacqueline Matter in for Scott Dennis. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Topping our news today at noon, Sarasota County has officially declared a state of emergency ahead of Hurricane Irma. Officials are busy making preparations in anticipation of that storm. Also new this afternoon, Manatee County has issued a voluntary evacuation for low-lying areas and mobile home residents, including Holmes Beach. It starts tomorrow at 7 a.m. Residents living in mobile homes and anyone in the county's evacuation level A, red-colored areas on the map near the coast, rivers, streams, and low-lying areas are welcome to leave. But again, that is not mandatory, only voluntarily. You can evacuate. The county declared a state of emergency yesterday, and many schools in the area are preparing for shelters to open. Starting tomorrow, four emergency shelters will be available for evacuees in Manatee County. They are Mayaka Elementary School, Braden River High, Manatee High School, and Mills Elementary. Braden River, Manatee High, and Mills are all pet friendly. The shelters open tomorrow at 4 o'clock. Manatee County offices are also closed for the rest of the week. It's still not certain whether or not we'll get a direct hit from Irma. First alert meteorologist John Scalzi joins us now with the latest on that storm. John? Yeah, we do have some watches and, and uh, watches up for the state of Florida now. Folks, let me put it this way. We're game day right now, and we're at the coin toss. A lot is going to evolve over the course of the next several days throughout the state of Florida. We now have a uh, hurricane watch up from Bonita Springs down through the Florida Keys and up the other coast to Juniper Inlet. Uh, there's also a storm surge watch up for this area. This will undoubtedly be changed to a uh, warning as we get closer to event day, which will be on Saturday. There's going to be um, devastation in the southern part of the state of Florida. If the forecast track verifies, we'll be looking at inundating storm surge that will produce major structural damage. Sturdy buildings will lose roofs. Walls will fail. We'll be looking at roadways cut off, power outages, communication failures. This is a very, very serious storm for the Miami-Dade, Lauderdale, Florida Keys location. Um, it'll probably hit as a Category 3 or even 4 storm with winds in excess of 110 miles per hour, surge uh, wind gusts in excess of 140 miles an hour. It's just going to be terribly devastating for that region. The latest forecast from the Hurricane Center has wind speeds now reduced to 175 miles an hour, likely due to interaction with some of the mountainous terrain on Hispaniol. However, as this storm continues on its northwestward track, it's going to move over some very warm waters, some areas very conducive for further development. Forecast philosophy has not changed that much, still moving very close to, if not over, parts of South Florida. The forecast cone is shrinking just a little bit. I hasten to say that we are not in a watch or warning zone. However, do not think that that means that we will not be. Those watches and warnings will likely move northward as the storm approaches and the timing of the storm uh, begins to impact a greater area of the Florida Peninsula. A very well-defined eye wall quadrants all look uniform and symmetric. The eye wall itself still has the intense winds surrounding it. No reason why this should not continue to develop and perhaps even become a Category 5 storm again for a period of time. We'll have the complete forecast details, including what, as of today, given that forecast track, we can expect in our area coming up in just a few. Back to you, Jacqueline. All right, thank you, John. Thousands felt the wrath of Irma in the Caribbean yesterday. This video was sent in from one of our viewers here in Sarasota. His brother lives in the Virgin Islands. He sent him this video of him riding out the Category 5 storm at his condo on the north side of the island. We're told he is okay this afternoon, but the storm left his neighborhood severely damaged. Also today, troopers are heavily monitoring the high volume of traffic heading north as people evacuate South Florida. Extra troopers, road rangers, and wreckers are on the roads to help drivers whose vehicles have become disabled and left on the side of the roads. Northbound traffic on I-75 is expected to be slow for most of the day today. Many people are heading north to places like Atlanta and Alabama. In addition to the traffic, gas has also been an issue. Many places along the I-75 corridor were out. And despite the warnings, some people are still concerned about leaving.
It's scary because you don't know what you're going to come back to if you come back to anything. I would rather watch what happens on TV than be stuck in the middle of the hurricane. Again, mandatory evacuations have yet to be ordered for the Sun Coast, but that still is a possibility over the next few days. And to ease the traffic for those leaving the state to get out of Irma's way, they won't have to worry about paying any tolls. Governor Rick Scott has suspended tolls across the entire state of Florida. He hopes this will help people better prepare for the storm, get hurricane supplies, and quickly evacuate when necessary. It's also important to make sure your pets are being taken care of in preparation for Hurricane Irma. The Animal Rescue Coalition in Sarasota is offering vaccines and microchips all day today at its location on Tower Lane. Each vaccine or microchip costs $10 each. The coalition is only accepting cash or credit card payments. Organizers say pets are usually forgotten about during storm preps, but some owners may want to put their pets in shelters while they're away. What we're telling people is at a minimum they need to have their rabies vaccine and they need to have their county tags. Um, for dogs, we're recommending Bordetella because when you have a lot of dogs in close contact with one another, that's something you worry about. Beyond that, um, I think you need to deal with whatever shelter you're going to. If you're going to a boarding facility, you need to check with them and ask them what they require. And in Manatee County, the Humane Society is accepting walk-ins until 1 o'clock at their 14th Street West location in Bradenton. The cost is also $10 for each rabies vaccine or microchip. Also here on the Sun Coast, school districts are taking precautions ahead of the storm. Schools will be closed in Manatee and Sarasota counties on Friday. Charlotte County also closing its schools as well. And college campuses are closed as well. The Ringling College of Art and Design has canceled classes until further notice. New College of Florida has canceled all classes today, Friday, and Monday. The University of South Florida, including the Sarasota Manatee Campus, will be closed today through Sunday. And the State College of Florida also closing today through Monday. And we have information that you need to know about shelters, supply kits, and how to prepare your home. It's all in our hour-long special, Surviving a Hurricane. It's airing this afternoon at 4 o'clock right here on ABC7. It's available anytime on our other platforms, including Apple TV, Amazon Fire, and Roku. You can also check out the First Alert Weather 2017 Hurricane Guide on our website, mysuncoast.com. Just click on the Weather tab and then Hurricane Guide. In other news this afternoon, deputies in Manatee County are investigating an armed robbery at a shoe store. The robbery took place yesterday at the Happy Feet Plus shoe store next to the Ellington Outlet Mall on Factory Shops Boulevard in Ellington. Deputies say this man is seen asking an associate to get a pair of shoes from the back of the store. Once the victim goes to get them, he held a pair of scissors to her throat and demanded money from the register. A struggle followed and the woman ended up with cuts to her hands and was hit in the face. Meanwhile, the suspect was cut in the lower facial area. He took the cash and ran away. He is described as medium build in his 30s or 40s. Still to come on your Suncoast News, a trip to the Capitol for Donald Trump Jr. The questions the Senate has for him about a closed door meeting involving the res recent presidential election. And a good night's sleep is hard to come by, but it can be especially harder for women. We'll have that story next in Health Smart. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Hi, I'm Chef Bob. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday morning on ABC7, where we'll be serving up the most awesome dishes. Then stop by your neighborhood Publix, pick up the recipe card, and all the ingredients. During the past 10 years, Tidewell Hospice Volunteers have provided more than 1 million hours of service. They sit with patients, giving caregivers a break. They work in offices. They take their furry friends on pet therapy visits. They even clown around. Every task performed by a volunteer makes a difference in the lives of our patients and their families. Join Tidewell's volunteer team. They're truly one in a million. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. 
Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Enjoy some of the best Suncoast restaurants on me. Just go to mysuncoast.com slash dining, sign up for the newsletter if you haven't already, and you can win a $50 gift card to a restaurant in our area. We'll pick a winner each week, so go on our website and sign up now. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Now your ABC7 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. It is a beautiful day on the Sun Coast. You know, we could get a few showers around, but other than that, it's a lovely day to get out there and finish those preparations. If you're a boater, tie down that boat or haul it out today. Get that done. Over the course of the next several days, some of you may wish to shutter your homes. And if I had them, I would shutter my home. And I would uh, think that you'd probably want to start on that tomorrow, get everything completed by Saturday. Hard to believe, looking out over this vista, that there will be some strong, at least tropical storm force winds around here over the course of the weekend. And we will experience, most likely, some power outages across the region. And we will be watching any kind of change in that forecast track that could lead to stronger and more severe weather for the Sun Coast as we head into the next several days. Currently we have 87 degrees, a lot of sunshine as you just saw, and a dew point value of 76. Okay, let's get right to it. There's the eye of our hurricane, very well deformed, defined. Still a very symmetric storm in all quadrants. Hurricane Hunter aircraft went in and checked it all out and found 175 mile an hour winds, mostly in the northeast quadrant and in the southeast quadrant. That's where the storm winds are strongest usually, but still, all around this core, there are just devastatingly strong winds. Here's Hispaniol, and it's staying to the north of that tiny island nation, but Turks and Caicos are right in line for a direct hit, possibly, over the course of the evening and into tomorrow. There are very tall mountainous regions on the uh, on the island of Hispaniol and it is possible that that could disrupt some of the flow or is even disrupting some of the flow but this is such a large massive powerful energy filled storm that it is uh, very likely to recover very quickly after it leaves the uh, influence of Hispaniol. There are the 173 mile per hour winds clock there's the center of the storm so the best thing you can do is to keep the east side of this storm off of the United States. Let's hope we can do that. Computer models still remain rather tightly clustered in the near term. And even in the long term, the good, the four top hurricane forecasting models are clustered around the east coast of the state of Florida. There are still some, the Navy model, the, U, uh, the UK model, that uh, are showing up a more westerly track to this storm out into some parts of the Gulf waters. We, we want to see this thing turn north quickly on Saturday and keep it out in the open waters. Though, frankly, an open water motion of this storm is getting very, very unlikely. It does indeed look like it will impact the southeastern part of the United States. Latest forecast track, as I showed you earlier, 175 mile an hour winds takes it very close to the southeastern tip of the state of Florida as a major hurricane, then takes it northward. Any changes in this forecast track Maybe there's more of a little bit of a bend in the long term up toward the Carolinas. There could be impact up there for flooding. Given this scenario, we will probably see some sort of a tropical storm watch or warning issued for our area as late as later tonight or tomorrow. There's the trough of low pressure which provides a weakness in the high pressure ridge to our north that has been steering the storm to the west. With time, we'll watch this storm begin to lift north. That will be a critical time so that we can verify the computer model forecast tracks that will happen on Saturday and we'll be watching that very carefully. Sun cloud mix today, better chances of rainfall because of this trough sinking southward and then we'll watch the winds picking up on Saturday. 
Uh, Irma's forecast winds. Well, for hurricane force winds, at this time, with the track given, we are in a zone here on the East Coast that keeps us in a lo pretty low percentile, 20, 30 percent max chance of seeing hurricane force winds. However, tropical storm force winds, that is certainly likely, a 70 percent chance that in this zone right here, we will see perhaps as much as four to six hours of tropical storm force winds in the vicinity of 40 to 50 miles per hour, even higher as you move further inland. The onset of the tropical storm force winds will likely occur Sunday morning, about a 50-50 chance of that. But along this black line, there is a 1 in 10 chance of tropical storm force winds being felt by Saturday at 8 o'clock. Why is that important? Because up until that time, you are likely not to have tropical storm force winds. So that is the time you want to complete all your preparations. So let's get everything done that you want to get done by tomorrow and into Saturday and then wrap it all up by Saturday afternoon as we watch the eventual track of this storm and see where it heads. We'll look for a 30% chance of storms today, better chance tomorrow and then Saturday and Sunday are our, or excuse me, Sunday and Monday are our storm days and we'll be watching very carefully on Saturday the track of the storm. Back to you. All right, thank you, John. If you are still looking for water, the Bayside Community Church will have a full truckload of water starting at 5 p.m. They'll be issuing two cases of water per car until they run out. The waters will be handed out at their East Bradenton campus on State Road 64 East. In our health news this afternoon, a new government study is shedding more light on how middle-aged women sleep, and it seems they don't get enough of it. According to the study, women between 40 and 59 years old are more likely to suffer from poor sleep quality than any other age group. Not getting enough sleep increases the risk of cardiovascular disease and diabetes, among many other issues. Experts say women in this age range should aim for seven to nine hours of sleep each night. And a new study says being tall can have some drawbacks. The report claims your height might hold clues about your risk for a variety of health problems, including blood clots. Shorter people had a significantly decreased risk of blood clots compared to taller people. Being tall has also been linked to cancer, heart problems, gestational diabetes, and even the length of your life. Of course, you can't change your height, but experts point out that you can make healthy lifestyle choices that reduce your risk of various conditions. Well, it's lunchtime. Let's get over to the kitchen where our guest Samuel Ray joins us today from Tsunami Sushi and Hibachi Grill in Sarasota. Hi, Sam. What are you cooking for us today? Hi there. Today we're going to be making a Japanese shrimp cocktail, so it should be a lot of fun. What to do when your heating or air conditioning needs service or heaven forbid replacement? Call Air Now today. We've been serving Sarasota and Manatee County since 1946. We offer $49.95 tune-ups, lease or finance options, and remember, service today or it's free. This is an important medical announcement. Xeralto and Pradoxa have been linked to uncontrollable bleeding and even death. If you've been prescribed one of these drugs and have experienced these dangerous side effects, you may be entitled to substantial compensation. Studies show that Predoxa can cause more heart attacks than warfarin, and other countries have already issued safety warnings against this drug. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. The call is confidential. There's no cost, and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to Predoxa victims, and thousands of Xarelto victims are filing their legal cases. Call the Drug Watch Hotline if you or a loved one used Xeralto or Pradoxa and experienced uncontrollable bleeding, brain hemorrhage, or even death. You must call now. Call 800-793-6055. 800-793-6055. Are you getting the most out of your Medicare plan? Are you sure? Many people with Medicare are eligible for plans that include extra benefits in addition to those found in original Medicare. Benefits like dental, vision, and prescription drug coverage. Call now to see if you're eligible to enroll. The consultation is free with no obligation to enroll. In addition to hospital and medical coverage, at no extra cost, you could also get coverage for prescription drugs, dental, hearing, 
vision, and more. In many areas, plans with benefits are available with $0 copays for many services, $0 monthly premiums, or $0 deductibles. That's hospital, medical, prescription drug, dental coverage, and more included in one plan with premiums that may be as low as $0 a month. Call now to see if you're eligible to enroll. The consultation is free and there's no obligation to enroll. Call 1-800-620-2254. That's 1-800-620-2254. Check out My Sun Coast Dining on MySunCoast.com, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. ABC 7's own Chef Judy serves up her favorite recipes, cooking tips and trends, dining blogs, step-by-step videos, and Sun Coast Restaurant Guide. You'll find it all at MySunCoast.com slash dining. Some bad news for tennis fans. There will be no U.S. matchup between Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal this year. Federer knocked out of the quarterfinals, losing to Juan Martin Del Potro. The loss ends his 18-match Grand Slam winning streak and prevents him and Nadal from meeting in the semifinals, which would have been their first head-to-head -head showdown at Flushing Meadows. It's the only major tournament where the longtime rivals have never faced each other. Instead, it's 2009 champ Del Potro against two-time winner Nadal in the semifinals tomorrow. In the Tampa Bay Rays finishing up a three-game series against the Minnesota Twins, Eduardo Escobar had three hits and three RBIs. Brian Dozier and Ihair Adrianza both hitting home runs. Final score, Twins beat the Rays 10-6, but the Rays ended up winning the series. And here on the Sun Coast High School football moving up a night. Football Friday is airing tonight instead of Friday. Most games will be played, but some were actually postponed or canceled. It has been a challenging year for area teams, with the weather being their toughest opponent. You can see a special edition of Football Friday Night right here on ABC7 tonight at 11.15 p.m. New this afternoon, some much appreciated funding for the University of South Florida. USF is getting millions of dollars in bonuses from the state after achieving preeminent designation. Back in 2013, lawmakers decided they would honor top tier universities in their budgets. 11 of 12 benchmarks, including graduation rates and endowments, are analyzed. Only USF and Florida State University met those requirements. How much funds USF is expected to receive will be decided by the end of the year. Back to the kitchen now where John is with our guest today, Samuel Ray from Tsunami Sushi and Hibachi Grill. Hey, guys. Always a pleasure having Chef Sam in the kitchen. Hello, sir. Yes. Hey. Bring us some happy diversion. Absolutely. All my right. pleasure. My pleasure. So today we're going to be doing a Japanese shrimp cocktail. This is great. Um, you can keep it cold. You can enjoy it with sweet chili sauce. You don't have to make it fresh. So maybe during a storm or something like that, you can have a little cocktail party, huh? Okay, <laughs> sounds good. Now, uh, you know, you, you think of uh, sushis and things as, as being raw. This is a raw shrimp dish? No, this is cooked. Okay. This is cooked. Yeah, you really don't want to eat shrimp raw. You got to be pretty careful with those guys. Good so. to know. All right. Okay. So uh, let's get started here. What we're going to do is, is make a sort of marinade. Okay. Um, we've got about a teaspoon of salt and pepper going in here. And then uh, a pound of, of, of raw shrimp. Uh, you can do however you like to have it tail on. I like to have the, it shelled so that you're not so do I. Uh, getting your fingers all over. Exactly. Old. Exactly. So we've got uh, some minced ginger here. This is a uh, fresh root ginger. You can find that at your grocery store. About uh, three cloves of minced garlic here. And then uh, fresh parsley. Mm, I like that. That gives it a kind of fresh flavor, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I just love the color too. Yeah, exactly. Uh, sesame seeds here. These are roasted. Mm -hmm. um, easy you roast to those find in the too. pan. Is that just fine, or roast them in a skillet, or yeah, just in a, in a skillet on the stove. Mm -hmm. just, just keep you know, them moving, though. Just right? keep them moving. Yeah. Takes a couple of minutes. You okay. can even buy them roasted too. Sesame oil here just adds a, a little bit of that Japanese flavor to it, and some fresh lemon juice. Nice. About half a lemon here. Mm -hmm. And then we're just going to throw our pound of shrimp in there. Now you want to preheat your oven to about 400 degrees. Hot oven. Hot oven. Okay. Yeah, it's a quick cook. Okay. So you just want to put them in there. I usually let them sit and marinate for about 20 minutes. You could do as long as overnight, depending on what you like. But okay. you know, for the sake of TV, we're just gonna lay them out here on the on the cookie sheet and get that started. Do you put them right on the sheet itself, or do you have to grease the sheet? Do you put down any kind of parchment or anything uh, like that? Whatever you're used to, parchment is good. Mm -hmm. um, 
but uh, they really don't stick too much because they've got that oil in there. So, Now, how about the, the, the hurricane? Are you guys staying open? You're closing down? What are your we, thoughts? We, depending you know on, yet? on what, what you say, we're kind of yeah, looking right, to you right, for the answer right. to that question. We know schools are closed tomorrow. Right. So um, we're probably going to be open tomorrow, and then I'm thinking Saturday we're probably just going to close just right. to be safe. Just uh, for your, your, the sake of your employees, I should imagine. Right, right. Well. We yeah. don't want to have anybody, you know, worried about getting in trouble, getting to work. Right. Right, exactly. Well, you know, things could get a little bit squirrely here on Sunday, so it's probably a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Sunday into Monday. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. So um, this is delightful. How long does this take to cook then? About six minutes. That's it. It's hot oven. It okay. goes straight in there. Uh huh. I've got some done here. Mm. So you just want to get that nice golden brown color there. Boy, they smell fantastic. I'll tell you what. And then, uh, so that's kind of what they look like there. Okay. And, and then, then how do you how do you plate these and serve these? Uh, I usually stick them on a skewer, serve them with some sweet chili sauce. Okay. You can eat these hot, you can eat these cold, however you like them. Fantastic. We have a final product over here. It looks absolutely beautiful. Presentation here, gorgeous. You, all, you always do it upright. Thank you. Thank you. The recipe is on our website, mysuncoast.com. Go on there. The video, instru video instructions are there. Your shopping list, everything. Chef Sam teaches you how to do it. It should be a great meal. Nice thing to, to show us here on yeah. this very busy weather weekend. Thank My you so pleasure. much. My pleasure. Pleasure to be here. I'm oh, okay. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be right back. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. This is an important medical announcement. Barred IVC filters have been linked to punctured veins and problems with migration. Anyone who's received a barred IVC filter must receive medical monitoring and may be entitled to substantial compensation. If you have the Bard Recovery G2 or G2 Express filter, you are in a class of patients who should be compensated for some expenses. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. This call is confidential. There's no cost and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to people who should have been warned about the risks of the Bard IVC filters. Call the IVC filter hotline if you or a loved one has received an IVC filter and experienced a vein puncture or required medical monitoring. You must call now. Call 800-329-3089. 800-329-3089. Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help. With Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The More Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. Put more space in your place at the More Space Place. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. We promise we're more than a dealership. We're a destination with a movie theater, massage room, aquarium, cafe, and more. We promise to give you top dollar for your trade, even if you don't buy from us. And if you do, we promise you the best deal. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets. It's 301 sarasotaford.com I love taking care of my mom. It wasn't easy at first. She learned how to better communicate her needs. And you learned how to not ignore yours. I discovered how to make healthier meals. And I discovered how much I enjoyed them. Becoming a caregiver is a learning experience for everyone. Find articles, tips, and tools from experts and others who have been in your place. The Caregiving Resource Center at aarp.org slash caregiving. Live from our studios on Florida's Sun Coast, this is ABC 7 News at noon. Your Sun Coast News. We're here for you. Welcome back. Topping our half hour, Hurricane Irma cuts a path of devastation across the Caribbean, leaving at least 10 
dead and thousands homeless. A potential impact is likely here in Florida. ABC's Stephanie Ramos has more from Miami. Hurricane Irma is said to be the most powerful storm to travel over the Atlantic Ocean, and it's left half of Puerto Rico without power. Nearly a million people are in the dark and about 50,000 without water. And on St. Martin, scenes of widespread devastation. 185 mile per hour winds tore through the island paradise, up to eight deaths being reported. And on the tiny island of Barbuda, officials report at least 95% of its structures are damaged. The entire country has been decimated. I have never seen anything like this before. Back on the mainland, Floridians are bracing for what's coming their way, scrambling to prepare for Hurricane Irma's wrath. Crowds lined up outside this grocery store hours before it opened its doors. Gas lines stretching for miles, with many stations sold out. We have to get the fuel as fast as we can out so everybody has the fuel to evacuate. The governor says to expect a long wait, but they won't stop working to get fuel to everyone. I'm very nervous. I've been driving around for 30 minutes and my car was on E for like the past hour. And in the danger zone, people are boarding up homes and businesses. Officials issuing mandatory evacuations for low-lying areas, including the Keys. The state urging residents to get out now. This is not a storm you can sit and wait through. Florida's governor says with Irma's size as big as the state, residents on both coasts should be prepared to evacuate. Stephanie Ramos, ABC News, Miami. Of course, some of those new images coming into our newsroom shows the devastation that Hurricane Irma has left behind in the Caribbean. And those photos are bringing back me memories of another monster storm, Andrew. In 1992, the Category 5 storm ravaged Homestead, Florida. It was one of the worst storms in the history of the Sunshine State. The city has since been rebuilt, but the aftermath of Andrew prompted many changes in the way that Florida prepares for hurricanes. Officials enacting new procedures to make sure structures can withstand high winds. Many residents are adding hurricane impact windows and hurricane resistant roofs and one of only three Category 5 hurricanes on record to make landfall in the continental United States. A follow up this afternoon on the impact that Hurricane Irma is having on travel plans. The seriousness of this storm is highlighted by the swift action of some airlines. American Airlines canceling all of its flights for Saturday and Sunday in and out of Miami, Fort Lauderdale, West Palm and even Sarasota. Overall, 2000 American Airlines flights have been canceled. Meanwhile, other airlines have been adding flights to try and help with evacuations. JetBlue and American say they are capping direct flights out of Florida at $99. However, some connecting flights for JetBlue are running about $159. The goal is, is to get people out of the storm surge area. So uh, you don't want to be in an area that, that's going to experience storm surge. And, you know, you have to travel far enough outside of the storm surge area and into a facility that can withstand the winds. And so that's the goal. And it's not just flights that are feeling the effects of this storm. Amtrak, the nation's leading passenger railroad service, is also suspending some of its routes to Florida. Meanwhile, phone companies are trying to help those already impacted by the storm. T-Mobile and AT&T are offering free calls, texts, and data to all customers in affected areas of Puerto Rico. T-Mobile's offer also extends to Metro PCS customers. Cricket Wireless will provide customers free calls to the Dominican Republic in Haiti starting today and running through the end of the weekend. There's no word yet on if these offers will extend to Florida in the coming days. While Hurricane Irma continues to inch closer and closer, FEMA is still focused on how to pay for the damage brought on by Hurricane Harvey. Massive recovery efforts are still underway in Texas and Louisiana. With roughly $1 billion left in FEMA's emergency response fund, they're expected to run out of that money at the end of the week. $7.9 billion were approved for Harvey relief efforts. Meanwhile, Irma looms on with FEMA's focus still on Texas and Louisiana. And here at home, a new analysis is showing a steep drop in flood insurance. According to a report by the Associated Press, Florida's total number of federal flood insurance policies has fallen by 15%. Property owners still buy far more federal flood insurance here than they do in any other state, covering about $42 billion in assets. But 59% of those who live in hazard zones don't have policies, despite the requirements to have the coverage as a condition of their federally backed 
mortgage loans. Certainly, you probably want to get that done before hurricane season because it does take 30 days to get those policies yes. put into effect. Too late for Florida right now. Um, now, it's a big question because this is going to be a, a, a really devastating storm for especially South Florida as that eye wall approaches. Uh, storm surge is going to be just tremendous, leading to massive devastation down there, it looks like. And this is such an expansive, large storm right. that, uh, you know, it doesn't really matter if the eye is just offshore or onshore, you're still going to get devastating results. And a lot of homes will be um, unlivable for weeks if not months to come wow. and a lot of them will just be totally destroyed a lot of mobile homes will be gone uh, it's it, it's going to be awful hopefully there'll be no change in the forecast track and uh, you know we, we will see impacts from it but nothing like they will in southeast florida of course let's hope the well, big day for us will come <laughs> on saturday as we watch the eventual turn of the storm you have to remember the uh, turn of the storm is extremely important in terms of where exactly it will end up in the state of Florida. Because it will be turning down around the island of Cuba, there's a long kind of lever action going on, which I'll explain about in a few minutes. Right now, we have a hurricane watch up for South Florida, not for us, but for our areas around Bonita Springs, going southward down through the Keys, back up the east coast toward Juniper Springs, to uh, uh, Juniper Beach. That does not include us. However, don't get too excited because we're still early in the game, and I think we'll start to see some of those watches and warnings move northward with time. The uh, forecast motion still has not changed all that much, and it continues on a north northwest on a uh, west northwesterly path, turning very sharply to the north as we head into the weekend. And it is that sharp turn that we'll be watching for exactly when that occurs, instrumental to what we experience here locally. More on the forecast coming up in just a few minutes. Thank you. All right, thank you. John, in Washington, Donald Trump Jr. is answering questions today from investigators regarding possible Russian election meddling. And many Republicans are reeling after President Trump sided with congressional Democrats on a deal that will give them major leverage later this year. ABC's Emily Rao has that story. President Trump's eldest son, Donald Jr., sitting down in a closed-door meeting with the Senate Judiciary Committee investigating Russian meddling in the election. Don Jr. answering questions about what happened in that meeting that he arranged with top campaign officials and a Russian lawyer promising dirt on Hillary Clinton. Equally important. What happened afterward? Committee member Senator Richard Blumenthal appearing on MSNBC this morning. What meetings and other potential coordination was there afterward by way of providing information, compromising or coordinating the Trump digital operations with the Russians. Don Jr.'s appearance on Capitol Hill coming as congressional Republicans regroup after a snap decision from President Trump. The president agreed with Senator Schumer and Congresswoman Pelosi. The president defying leaders of his own party by siding with the Democrats' proposal to raise the debt ceiling and fund the government for only three months. I think that's ridiculous and disgraceful. An idea the Speaker of the House hours earlier blasted. The decision leaving Democrats gleeful. Today was a good day in a generally very partisan town. At least one Republican congressman telling MSNBC hosts it's a good thing. He's got to be flexible, and he does need to be able to reach into both caucuses uh, to get uh, major legislation done. Republicans wanted a longer-term deal to avoid future fights as they head into the midterms. This deal, though, will give Democrats much more leverage as we approach the end of the year. Emily Rao, ABC News, Washington. New this afternoon, three companies are supporting a lawsuit to block a policy that protects young immigrants. Amazon, Microsoft, and Starbucks are fighting to legally preserve DACA. They've submitted formal declarations of support for a lawsuit filed yesterday by 16 state attorney generals. The companies all have employees authorized to work through the DACA program. DACA allows undocumented immigrants brought to the U.S. as children to live, work, and study in the U.S. without fear of deportation. The Trump administration announced that it will end that program earlier this week, but will give Congress a six-month window to pass a legislative fix. 
Also in consumer news, Kohl's is getting into business with the enemy, otherwise known as Amazon. The retailer is opening Amazon shops in 10 of its department stores. They'll sell Amazon Echoes, Fire tablets, and other gadgets. It follows a move by Sears and Kmart to sell its Kenmore branded appliances on Amazon.com for the first time. And speaking of Amazon, they're looking for a new home. The company has been scouting locations to build its second headquarters. Currently, it's only housed in Seattle. Amazon says they're willing to spend more than $5 billion to build another headquarters in North America. But the new space will offer as many as 50,000 jobs, and cities can nominate themselves to be a location on Amazon's website. They'll make a decision sometime next year. And here's a deal for you Netflix, Netflix lovers. T-Mobile is offering free Netflix access to Lure customers. Customers must be subscribers to their unlimited plan. The offer is only for new and existing family plan subscribers. Free Netflix access will start on September 12th. When we come back, John will have another look at our forecast and the latest on Hurricane Irma. And it's a family circus whose roots are aligned with the Ringling Brothers. And their story next in the Spotlight. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. If you're thinking about replacing your windows, what matters most to you? We found what matters is high performance. Our customers want energy efficient windows built for Florida weather. Windows that can stand everything from scorching sun to hurricanes. Our customers want windows that reflect their life, their lifestyle. Windows that will last a lifetime. We listen to our customers and as a result, we're growing. So if you're looking to replace your windows, stop here at New South Window. Buy more, save more. Volume discounts on four or more windows. You love your couch and want to protect it from spills, food, and scratching, shedding pets. Introducing Couch Coat, the reversible, washable quilted cover that protects your couch. Shield against spills, wow, stop stains, and dirty pet paws and sharp claws. Plus, it's reversible with two stylish colors. Guaranteed to fit any couch up to 92 inches or your money back. It even has covers to protect armrests. Machine washable too. My grandkids destroy everything but with coach coat my coach is always protected looking as good as it did the day I bought it get your couch coat for just $19.99 and it's reversible in brown and cream like two couch coats for the price of one order right now and you can double your offer get a second couch coat just pay a separate fee order right now call 1-800-943-0710 to get your couch coat call now or go to couchcoat.com so call 1-800-943-0710 that's 1-800-943-0710 call now start your day with a new good morning suncoast team weekday starting at 5 a.m there are many choices when it comes to ac companies our advice choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like daikin daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty for better comfort and value call elite heating and air now your ABC7 first alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. So it's 87 degrees right now with a dew point value of 76. We have talked a little bit about what to expect in terms of winds with Irma, a very large and expansive storm. So its reach will be widespread as it moves across the state of Florida. Notice that on the very outer edges of the storm, there's a kind of drying effect going on that reduces the amount of rainfall that the folks out here see compared to what the folks in here would see. We'll talk about that in the long-term forecast. 175 mile an hour winds still, according to uh, air air craft reconnaissance around the northeast quadrants and southeast quadrants of the storm. Forecast tracks still cluster around a, a, a general turn to the north that takes it up the east coast of the state of Florida, but there are a few outliers that still have a west coast Gulf water presence for the storm as we head into later Saturday. So there is still some uncertainty, though the cone of uncertainty is beginning to shrink a little bit, which we like. Um, we are still with a forecast track that is 
basically unchanged from the hurricane center. 175 mile an hour winds, a west northwest motion that then veers sharply to the right as we head into Saturday and then takes it very close to the eastern coastline as we head into Sunday and through Monday. Then eventually veers it back to the north into areas of the Carolinas where it will produce undoubtedly some very heavy rainfall there as well as some coastal surge. Speaking of coastal surge, you may see things circulating on the internet that show surge across our area in excess of six to nine feet. Don't trust what you see on the internet unless you know its source. There are some maps that are floating around that show worst case scenario for a category three coming right up the west coast. There have been no official storm surge maps for this particular storm issued by the hurricane center yet that will not come until we have a uh, until we have a release from the hurricane center for that usually with a hurricane warning in south florida that'll probably come later today for them and we don't even have a watch or warning up for our area yet so we don't know about storm surge until we know a more direct route that this storm is going to take a more truthful route and we won't know that probably until when we see it actually turn on Saturday but we'll see some surge models issued for South Florida pretty soon I should imagine sun cloud makes better rain chances winds start picking up on Saturday now let's take a look at the rainfall forecast undoubtedly the heaviest of the rain given the track that the the hurricane center now issues will be on the other coast. And there they could see in excess of six to 10 inch rainfalls possibly. For us, our actual rainfall chances may be slightly reduced because we'll be on the sinking air side of that storm. Not to say that we won't see any rain, we will. We could see two to four inches, maybe even some five inch rains in inland areas over the course of a two day period or so. But the heaviest of the rain definitely over on the other coast. There's also the potential for tornadic activity. Right now the Sphere Storm Prediction Center puts that that risk at moderate for the other coast three days out. But you know what? We need to be aware of that as well and put that into our forecast as we head into Sunday and Monday, particularly on Monday as that storm system lifts north across the, hope, hopefully out into the Atlantic, but certainly along the other coast. Okay, today, let's finish those boat preparations. The winds out of the north will be picking up as we head later into the evening at about 15 knots, and tomorrow could increase to 15 to even 20 knots. Two foot seas, light chop increasing to a moderate chop. So for today, we'll look for about a 30% chance of rain, increase that to about 50% tomorrow. Then over the weekend, you know, rain chances are really kind of iffy. I'm going to go with about a 40% to 30% rain chances we head into Sunday, Monday period with the heaviest of the rain over on the other coast. But that could certainly change depending on the track of the storm and what it's like at the time. In any event, we'll be looking at this very carefully on Saturday to see where the eventual track goes. Daytime highs held down by cloud cover and both Sunday and Monday will be storm days. Back to you. All right, thank you, John. The Carr Family Circus has been canceled this weekend in Sarasota, but the show will go on at a later date. ABC 7's Linda Carson has their story in the spotlight. Come on up, baby. The Carr's Family Circus is getting ready for their Grandparents' Day show. We have aerialists, we have jugglers, we have clowns, we have a hula hoop artist who's one of the best in the world. Um, we have them from all different kinds of countries. Carissia Carr is producing the show, performing on trapeze, and teaching her eight-year-old daughter the ropes. Would you like to be in the circus as a performer someday? I am in the circus <laughs> as a performer. She's right. Genevieve is performing in the Grandparents' Day show. I do chiffon, aerial fabric, and I call it chiffon. Her mom says she doesn't mind practicing. And now grab the fabric and pull yourself up. Her favorite thing in the world right now is aerial fabric. She is in love with it. And this is great for me because then I can use that as leverage for whenever she doesn't want to do homework or if she doesn't want to listen, I'll say, well, then we're not going to practice the fabric today. And <laughs> she just hops to and does it. Chrissy understands her dedication. She started on the trapeze at age five. Her parents were traveling with Ringling Brothers when she was born. When I was a tiny baby, we lived on the train, and I lived the first year or two of my life on the circus train. 
And then after that, we just kind of went back and forth from different uh, productions. Her circus roots are deep. My grandfather was, a, he was a circus clown, a very famous circus clown in, in South America. And uh, since then, we just kind of kept the tradition going. Ah, you need help now? Chrissy's right. father is a famous trapeze artist and teaches circus Thank performers you. at the Circus Warehouse School in New York. I had, I served 136 students just in flying trapeze per week. And the rest we teach silks, bars, trampoline, dancing, ballet. He's in Sarasota to watch his daughter prepare his three granddaughters for a future in circus. Genevieve is my eight-year-old, uh, Angelique is my six-year-old, and Vivian is my four-year-old. And they're all spitfires. They all want to do circus. I'm so proud of them, so happy to see them like they follow our stuff. He hopes they'll help keep the circus arts alive for future generations. Yes, I hope they do circus. I don't want the circus arts to die. The kids were so looking forward to performing at the Shrine Center this weekend. Unfortunately, the shows have been canceled because of Hurricane Irma. But they'll have another coming up soon. We'll let you know where and when you can see this amazing family in action. Linda Carson, ABC7, your Suncoast News. Well, don't go anywhere. Entertainment news is coming up next. Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today, sleep on it tonight. Are you Goodwill? Yes, because when I donate or shop at Goodwill, I am creating a job. I am Goodwill, yeah. Credit card debt can ruin your life. If you owe $10,000 and minimum payments are siphoning away your paycheck each month, you can get debt free in less time than you think. I've paid $800 a month for the past three years and haven't changed the balance on my credit card. Get Debt Free Now has a program to reduce your debt, stop the harassing phone calls, avoid financial ruin, and settle for less than you owe. I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. You're pre-approved for our special hardship program if you owe $10,000 or more. Upon payment of your new lower balance, your debt will finally shrink until you are debt free. My family no longer has 30 years of payments ahead of us at 20% interest. There's no fees until you see results. So call now. Make one monthly program payment and free up your cash. Resolve your debt. Call 800-685-6422. 800-685-6422. Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help. With Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The More Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. Put more space in your place at the More Space Place. Growing up, my mom was afraid of the water, something she did not want me to feel. So I enrolled Missy in swim lessons. It changed my life. Missy Franklin. And now you can do the same for someone that you love. There's nothing more precious than your child's well-being. So act now before it's too late. Make a splash! I'm glad I did. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Visit USASwimmingFoundation.org to find, get, or give a swim lesson. Northland Outdoors is about so much more than the biggest fish or the hottest hunting spots. All across the Northland, there are amazing people with incredible stories to tell. We're gonna find those stories and share them with everyone. Join us each and every week as we explore the Northland and experience some of the most exciting outdoor adventures in the country right here in our own backyard. This is Northland Outdoors. ABC 7 News at 7, weeknights. 
Some of music's biggest stars are heading to Charlottesville, Virginia. Justin Timberlake and Ariana Grande are just two of the big names hitting the stage at a concert hosted by the Dave Matthews Band. The show will be an evening of music and unity to help the city heal after last month's deadly clashes between white supremacists and protesters. That takes place on September 24th. And it's the first day of school for Prince George. Proud dad Prince William took his four-year-old son to school today. The Duchess of Cambridge, Kate, was too ill to, with morning sickness, sickness to go with them. The couple recently announced the pregnancy of their third child. And speaking of pregnancy, the Kardashian West gang are expecting another one. Kim Kardashian and Kanye West's surrogate is pregnant with their third child. The couple are already parents to four-year-old daughter North and 21-month-old son Saint. The new baby is due in January. And finally, this afternoon, an elementary student in Wisconsin has found a cool way to save money for college. She's selling a house. 11-year-old Madison Bew is only in the fifth grade, and although college is still quite a few years away, she says it's never too early to start saving. So with the help of her grandfather, she started flipping houses. They closed on their first one in July and started renovations. You should have seen it before. There was carpet and we had to pull that all out and then rip off the tax strip and things like that and it took a really long time but now we're here and it looks really good. How cute. Well her grandfather says even if they don't make a penny on that house the bonding that has taken place between them is all the more priceless. That makes my heart happy this afternoon. What a great story there, John. Cute story, absolutely <laughs> cute story. A uh, hurricane watch has been issued for parts of South Florida. We want to reiterate that. I've got a lot of people that are asking questions. Of on, course. Yeah, on by <laughs> telephone, uh, by email, and on Facebook. I appreciate all those questions. I encourage everyone to go to my Facebook page, John Scalzi, ABC7. If you have that question, I bet 100 other people have that same question. So I'll try to answer them on that Facebook page, John Scalzi, ABC7, so that uh, everybody can benefit from the questions that you've asked. Of course, and we have uh, team coverage of this throughout the next couple of days. Right. All of us, you can check us out on our Facebook pages. Absolutely. John is always posting some great information and articles. Absolutely, and of course, the website's being uh, updated. You yep. can always watch our uh, hurricane special with important tips on Roku, Apple TV, and uh, Amazon Fire. So lots of information available, and of course, we'll be all over this through the weekend. Certainly. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you back here at 5.